So, you all remember when we did uh, the Imported from Detroit Super Bowl commercial, and um, in a way we, we, we made a certain promise, right? Uh, imported from Detroit in that sense did not only mean that the car should be built in Detroit or Metro Detroit, but also should reflect Detroit design, American design. So before we actually put uh, pen to paper, a lot, a lot of discussion design of how can we how can we show American design? What is American design? How is American design different to Asian design or European design? Now, we have some really cool examples of American design right in Michigan and, and in our you know neighbor state Ohio. When you look at the Airstream trailer from Ohio, where the whole trailer is out of aluminum, but aluminum is not decoration. Aluminum is the trailer. Or right you know where we're from in Michigan, the Chris Craft boat that later inspired the river boats in Italy where wood is not decoration, but wood is the boat. And then the prime example for Michigan again, the Eames chair, where the wood, the structure of the chair is not decoration, but it is the chair, okay? So what is it, how does it translate in the interior? When we, we, we knew we wanted to do a patch that had wood, but we knew we didn't want to use wood as decoration. We wanted to use wood as a structural element. So what we've done here is you see this big, massive piece of wood. This is real wood, open core wood. I don't know, is it two feet, two and a half feet piece of wood, okay? Concave, convex, exposed edge, just like on the Eames chair. Now the key is the way we use it, it's not like on the instrument panel on the side where it's an afterthought, a decoration, you can take it off and do something else with it. But it has a structural element, it holds the cluster in place, it holds the center stack in place. Mm -hmm. Same on the door, right? Those two big pieces are not afterthoughts, they're not just added on decorative pieces, but they visually hold the whole instrument panel in place. And that again is the spirit of Charles Eames and his chair. Wood, exposed edge, concave. You don't see that anywhere in this price class. I don't think you would see it anywhere below, you know, in the, in the five digit dollar range. I don't think you see it anywhere outside maybe a Rolls Royce. Okay. This is the state of the art what you can do with wood. And that reflects American design. This is real wood, absolutely. Now, besides wood, of course, everything, all the materials are what you, what we're now known for. We have uh, very smooth leather here. Not only is this leather, it's a two-tone leather, this 360 uh, chrome ring. Uh, the, the doors are soft, not only on the top, they're soft on the side. Of course, the armrest, front door, rear door, same thing, leather seats, everything that uh, we're now known for. Another cool thing, actually, is uh, the console here, this whole thing, doing, again, something different, doing something more engineered, doing something American, okay? So we wanted to create a lot of storage opportunity. We have an all-wheel drive available for this car, so we have to deal with the same problems that rear-wheel drive platforms deal with with the transmission tunnel. Yet, we found tons of storage down here with our partners in engineering. And you can see, I can slide the cup on the fourth back, I can lock it in for one cup, I can lock it in for two cups, I can push it all the way back. Now, for those of you who will be able to, you will be able to try because it's in every car. This is also in the base car, the 21700 car. Okay, and what you'll feel is this furniture grade. Okay, we always had great ideas at Chrysler for storage and all kinds of things, but sometimes we, they were lacking on execution, right? They were flimsy. This is not for you guys prep for today. This is what's going to feel in production. Furniture grade material. You can also, of course, access from the back here. There's a little separator wall down here, so stuff doesn't fly around. You, of course, can also move the armrest the other way. <laughs> Forth and back, sorry. Okay, and then again, little details, uh, like even these little levers here, this, this were, I kid you not, this, is this section is inspired from these stones that we have at Lake Michigan because they're rock hard and yet feel good, okay? So we thought if a stone can feel good, why shouldn't plastic feel good? So the section of the stone is actually the section that you feel here versus that thin piece of flimsy plastic that you sometimes have in other cars with a party line on top, okay? Talking about storage, we didn't stop here, as a matter of fact, there's an access hole right here. You have all the connection ports in here with an access hole. Now that hole leads to that another big storage compartment right here in front of that floating console. The way we're able to achieve that is not only by elevating the console, but of course going to an electronic rotary dial, okay? Normal transmission, you have that iceberg underneath. In this case, very compact package combined with the electronic park brake, opens up all the storage. Again, still possible with an all-wheel drive transmission going underneath, okay? Now down here, it's in the shade right now, but you'll see it eventually. We also put a little homage to our home city, Detroit. We put the Detroit skyline in there. Now, when you look at it, you might, there, you might think there's a building missing. We just elected to focus on the historic part of Detroit, not the Renaissance part of Detroit. <laughs> yeah, what a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise, right? 
But again, uh, just a little homage of our hometown that we're so proud of. And then lastly, in terms of storage, uh, which is so important in the E segment, of course, we have a glove box that is not a surprise. But the fact that we were packaging the HVAC system vertically here, not horizontally like in many other cars, and then, you know, I can put my whole arm in there, try it in the car, tons of storage between the glove box down here and down there. Okay? Now, the part I'm really mostly proud of actually is not so much this thing here. It's not, it's not the form wood, it's not all this. What I'm really proud of is try the limited model that is just one model up from the LX, which is the very base model. And even the LX, which is that $21,700 vehicle. You'll get everything except, of course, the leather seats, the leather steering wheel, smaller touchscreen, and a manual HVAC versus automatic HVAC. Everything else you see here is not real wood. Everything else you see here is that $21,700 car. The same console, the same functionality, the same decoration, the same attention to detail, the same amount of softness, the same amount of dedication, fit and finish and passion, okay? For 21700 So in summary, before I hand it over, in summary, we learned that all this hard work between its predecessor, the Sebring, and this one, comes down to three letters, the. Because in 2008, when we showed the Sebring, one of your colleagues wrote about it and basically said the interior is shit. Now, recently when we showed this at the Detroit Auto Show, another colleague of yours said, this is the shit. So with that, that's, that's what five years of hard work get you, three letters. Mm -hmm.